gonna be like a long video but we're gonna say you know little cafe con chisme but you guys oh my gosh i got this coffee subscription and um basically it's like coffee from around the world and my very first bag that i got was coffee from guatemala yeah um, my mom is actually from Guatemala, so I was like, oh, my first one. Y'all, this coffee is probably the best freaking coffee. It is like slap your mama good. But, all right, you guys. Let's talk about mom guilt, okay? So, with my first two boys, um, I was not able to breastfeed um i think i think had i known what i needed to do in order to breastfeed i was so young i was like okay you know breast milk should just come by itself i don't have to work for it okay i was young and that was not the case i think i maybe was able to do like two weeks four weeks maybe at the most six weeks with both of them and I dried up and didn't really care to like look into why I, I didn't care I just I just let it go and I, I both of my older boys have been from formula fed so when we decided to have another baby I knew that I wanted to breastfeed I wanted to try everything that I could in order to breastfeed so with baby Xavier you know we are going he is now eight months and um, this month he'll be nine months but that journey is coming to an end and it was a decision that I made um, and no, there wasn't anything that basically towards the end you know when you're breastfeeding you have to like make sure you're eating right and you know you're drinking a lot of liquids and you're just I kind of stopped doing that um, not to say like I was eating like junk food or just shitty food in general no it was just I was eating a lot of spicy and I noticed towards the end of this process like my breastfeeding journey I knew um, I could see that he wasn't taking my breast milk as often because like I said I was eating spicy food I was eating like really um, they say like asparagus and broccoli which are the freaking all greens is my favorite kind of vegetable give me them roasted I am good to go broccoli but unfortunately like they say that that makes the baby gassy and um i just got to the point where i noticed that he started speeding up um when he was you know taking the breast milk so i knew i needed to start the process you guys so we started i want to say this has been like a couple of weeks leading up to this point um and i kind of just started weaning him off slowly i limit at the beginning i started limiting like the breastfeeding during the day so i started off like every other feeding was a bottle you know formula and then it, i started feeling myself you know when you i started to feel that i wouldn't get as full so once i started like a week or two with that process then i went into like okay strictly the night feeding and the night feeding was to me the hardest too guys it was the hardest because it was just so cute like when xavier would um be attached to me like he would do this thing to where he was like you know kind of rubbing my skin like almost like a comforting thing 
and the way he would just like hold me it was just so cute and um night feeding prepare yourselves that's probably the hardest part of the weaning process um so i started that and yeah i want to say i'm probably in like this is probably the sixth week of me starting the weaning process and i have already gone four to five days already that he has not been attached to me i am wearing um like a very compressed sports bra so they are like <laughs> they are stuck um and it's not very flattering because it like like you can see it it, it brings out your your fat but it's okay um so i'm on day four or five and um i will say the weaning process like it don't if you don't have to do it drastically don't do it drastically because it is an emotional mom guilt guilt thing that i was feeling i was like is this i didn't even know this was a real thing but it is you guys you will feel guilty you will feel bad um but at the same time i am so 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 proud of myself that i made it eight months of just breastfeeding and i'm so proud of myself i am so proud of myself and that baby was not deprived y'all my baby got some chunky legs on him but so all my mamas just prepare yourself mentally emotionally it will take a toll on you but if you're doing it for your own mental state if you are you know there's there's reasons behind it um but yeah i um i he has not been breastfed the last four or five days um the nights were brutal the nights were pretty tough um but we're getting to it um one thing that i did start these last two days was i could kind of feel like maybe i was getting like a clogged duck or something so i ended up just taking sudafed which i was already dealing with congestion anyway but i have heard that sudafed kind of helps you dry out so i am on day two of me taking some sudafed don't know if that has something to play with it but i'm drying out i already know it i can feel it <sighs> but that's a little update you guys i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about that because i feel like so many people don't talk about it like the whole weaning process the whole so many people have opinions and this and that and i'm just telling you guys my story love me hate me my baby's good my baby is fed my baby is happy and that is my baby is healthy and that is all that matters so yeah you guys i hope you enjoy this little chit chat cheese me con cafe type thing i am drinking coffee with like a teaspoon of brown sugar but y'all this guatemala coffee bomb um but that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoy my vlogs i have been doing a vlog every single day this month outside of the weekends okay give me my weekends um that i have some exciting vlogs videos that we're doing this week so those will probably be up next week when i get approval to post them i'm excited we have zoo day thursday fingers crossed we go to that but i'm excited i hope you guys have enjoyed our videos like comment subscribe do all the things and i will see y'all in the next one